Hi guys, today's going to be an update video. Uh, I've got a couple of machines that I'm planning to put up for sale because I um I currently don't have a job because of the COVID-19 pandemic, so um I need to get some money somehow to be able to afford my car insurance and stuff like that. So um so my only option really is to sell a couple of vacuum cleaners and then I'll get some I'll get some money from that. The Dyson V6 that I showed on the channel uh, within, uh, on, on my latest video, this, um, I got what I wanted for that. I got about I got one hundred pounds for it, and I only spent six pound doing that up. So that's a nice ninety four pound profit there. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the machines I'm keeping for now, and then move on to the ones that I'm selling. So the first, uh, so excuse the mess because it's a bit dirty. I've got the Dyson Ball Animal Two. That's sort of my daily driver at the minute. Could do with emptying soon, uh, a bit dirty on the cleaner head, so I'm going to give that a bit of a clean, but this is on my list to keep. I'm also keeping the Dyson V6, which again needs emptying, because I sold the V10 a while back because I needed some money at the time. And I'm also keeping the Dyson Kinetic Big Ball, the DC25, and of course Henry. And then I've got the George, he's st stored elsewhere at the minute, but I'm just keeping George as well. I just got my Vax carpet cleaner there, which I used recently. So um, I'm going to go for the, uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is going to be James, because he's right next to me here. So James is on the selling list, because um, although James is really good, it's a very good machine to be fair. I only really use him for cleaning cars, but I could use Henry for that. I, I don't really use Henry that much these days, so um, for DIY and cleaning cars, I can I can use put Henry to better use, and then um, I can get 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 a good amount of money for James. Uh, it needs a bit of a clean, obviously. Um, the tools are very well used on this machine, so I'm gonna have to give him a good clean. So I've got the. Um, the upholstery tool there, the dusting brush, crevice tool, and I've got the, the adapter. So that's there together. And um, I will be putting um, a new bag in James when I've cleaned him up. And I've all, I'm also going to include a couple of spare bags in the sale. Um, I'm not going to do a before, before the video because, as you know, um, well, as you as you might know, I've um, I've had James from new, so um, and I've got plenty of videos of James on my channel, but I have got some footage that I'm going to include in this video of James working, just so you can see that, and then I'll do a separate video with James afterwards. So that's James, and it's also a little bit of a hesitant sale, but um, I was torn between selling the Dyson Kinetic Big Ball and the Dyson Ball Total Clean, which is also known as the DC55 Total Clean. Uh, there's some dirt in it because um, I made some footage of James and this machine separately. So um, as you can see, the cleaner head's still in pretty good shape. Bin's not too bad. I have got the extra tools with it. The um, it comes with the reach under tool and the carbon fiber dusting brush. So those will be included in the sale as well. And also, I'm just going to grab my iPad uh, because um, this machine's actually um, still under warranty. So I'm just going to get the screenshot of that up and then um, I'm also going to show you this serial number. Uh, this machine again will be cleaned up prior to sale. So that's the serial number, which matches the serial number on the screenshot. Got 28 months left of the warranty. 1st of June 2018 was when it was purchased. Although I really like this machine, um, again it's it's easy money, so um, that's something I that's something I need. Uh, the reason why I decided this one over the the, the kinetic was because um, I've had the kinetic big ball since two thousand and sixteen. I think it, I think it's around July two thousand and sixteen. I purchased the machine, so um, I um, I sort of want to go for like a, a long term reliability of that machine. And they put it through it through its paces just to use it normally and then see how long things like the motors last must have last on it. I've got um a few months left I've got six months left of the warranty currently, so um 
after that it will be out of warranty and then I'm gonna try and keep it. As, I'm gonna try and keep it for ten years if I can. So um, until until twenty twenty six, and then see how things go with that machine, and then maybe even in the future it might even appreciate in value. Who knows? But um, that's on my list of machines to keep for that reason. I um, I really I also really like that machine because it's very handy, especially because you'd have to you'd have your filters to wash. And uh, the reason why I want to keep the DC25 is because I, re I really like this machine. Um, uh, well, I had one a few years back from new, when I, but you could still buy them new and um, actually regretted selling that machine in the end. So um, I went on the, I went on the Facebook Marketplace and eBay and everything and I um, I wanted to find a DC25 in this exact spec. It had uh, the original purple ball and the purple cyclone assembly and also the the newest style dark grey cable uh, this is something i was looking for and i was really pleased when i was able to find this particular machine which also came with the came with the original uh, turbo head and the um and, and it even came with a brand new bin which was good so that was good and um i've got henry here um i really like this machine it's got the it's the Henry Reach model, so it's got the um, extra hose and it's got an, another extended tube as well. And then one or two other tools. And again, it's got the square plug. Although James has got the square plug and I just want to keep Henry because uh, I really like this machine. And um, I, prefer, I prefer winding up the cord like you do in Henry rather than just wrapping it around the top. And then the Dyson Ball Animal 2 is the latest version of the... Dyson upright range that they don't actually make uprights anymore but um this, this is one of the latest machines so I thought I might as well keep this one again I really like this machine so um what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um going to put some footage of James up and then I'm going to put some footage of the the Dyson ball total clean up and then go from there So that's the footage of James now. Um, uh, one thing that I'm also going to mention is the um, Dyson V11 Outsiders has recently launched in the UK. Um, I, I, I think it's uh, just exclusive to Dyson and Currys at the minute, but I could be wrong. Um, that's something that I'm looking at getting in, in the very near future when I can when I get a job and everything, so I can afford it. Um, it I think I'm going to go for the outsized model over the standard V11 because um, I'm interested to see what that machine is like because the, um, the the main difference it's got a bigger cleaner head and it's got more suction power on max and it's got a bigger bin so I think that'd be useful. So um, as soon as I possibly can I'm going to get one of those and then that'll be featured, featured on my channel and I'll keep you posted with um, like my vacuum cleaner collection updates and stuff like that. As I have previously done. Uh, today's video is just a bit of an update so um, I'm going to include the footage of the Dyson Ball Total Clean and then I'm going to wrap up the video. <laughs>
So I've got the two machines that I'm selling together now. Um, as I said previously, I'm there, as soon as I can afford the Dyson V11, I'm hopefully going to go for the outside. As soon as I can afford that, I'm going to going to get one and then well, some new content on the channel. Um, I will miss these machines, but um, the Dyson Kinetic Big Ball is is very similar to the Dyson Ball Total Clean, so it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, as, I've, as I also said, there will be separate videos when I've cleaned these up. Pro hopefully within the next week or so, I'll be looking at getting them cleaned up and ready for sale. So uh, I'll do a separate video of James and a separate video of the Dyson. I think James will be the first one that I get up for, for sale just because it's it's quicker to get James up for sale because I've got to strip down all the clean head and everything and give it a good clean on the Dyson. So um, I'm going to do that and I might... Um, I might try and get the Dyson Ball Animal 2 cleaned up as well. So um, this is just, just a quick update video for you. Um, it's gone on a bit longer than I expected, but uh, quite a lot to talk about. So um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video.